Today's Renew is found in Proverbs chapter 6 and verses 3 through 5. It's entitled, Get Out. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of a hunter, and as a bird from the hand of a fowler. Proverbs 6, 3-5. The final eruption of Mount St. Helens on May of 1980 was not a sudden event. For two years prior to this massive blast, the most deadly and destructive in American history, earthquakes and volcanic activity signaled a major event was underway. Authorities had plenty of time to sound the alarm and warn those living nearby of the looming danger Despite the seriousness of the threat, some people chose to disregard the warnings. Of those who refused to evacuate, probably the best known is Harry Randall Truman. The 83-year-old man was the owner and caretaker of the Mount St. Helens Lodge at Spirit Lake. He had survived the sinking of his troop ship by a German submarine off the coast of Ireland during World War I. And he was not about to leave just because scientists thought there was a danger. Truman told reporters, I don't have any idea whether it will, will blow, but I don't believe it to the point that I'm going to pick up and pack up. On May 18, 1980, Truman and his lodge were buried beneath 150 feet of mud and debris from the volcanic eruption. His body was never found. It is foolish to recognize the danger or temptation to think that we will somehow be exempt from the consequences if we linger. If we believe Scripture's warning concerning temptation, we will surely flee. The only real protection that we have is the approach taken by Joseph when he was tempted by Potiphar's wife, and he left his garment in her hand and fled and got himself out. Genesis thirty-nine twelve. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can take action and get out of situations that would cause us to compromise you, compromise our lives. Help us, Lord, to get out. And uh, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's word to the wise, every place of temptation is a place of deadly peril. Heed God's word and warning and flee. Our renew verse, as you know it, say it with me, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a great wise Wednesday, everyone.